What's up everybody, TCM here back with another video and today we're going to talk about the newest certification to hit the TCM security platform, which is the PJMR or the Practical Junior Malware Researcher Certification. So we're going to take a look at the certification, what the exam entails, what the scoring system is, what kind of job you might be able to expect from earning this certification, etc. all in this video. No sponsor today. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. As always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about the PJMR certification. Okay, so the PJMR certification is, we call it a one of a kind certification because it really is. There's not many other certifications out there like this. In fact, honestly, there's only one that I can think of, and that's the GREM or the GREM from SANS. That certification costs $10,000. Ours costs very much a fraction of that. Uh, this is a junior certification, though we do call it intermediate difficulty. So if you go on the website, it'll say intermediate. This is for juniors, malware analysis, malware research. It is a intermediate field. It's going to require some intermediate knowledge, though we'll walk you through the training and what that entails as well. But this is a junior certification for the field. The exam is going to take five days to complete. This is very similar to our other exams, like the PMPT, as an example. Five days you get in an environment, you get two days for report writing, and a debrief is required, as is a report, of course. So what with the exam environment, what you're going to get is access. All you need is a VPN connection. So you download a VPN file, connect to our VPN environment, and then you use a web browser to connect to your lab environment. We do this because one, we want to protect the integrity of the exam and the samples that we're giving. And two, we want to protect the student's environment. So you do have to use our environment. That way you can deploy malware, reset the environment should you mess anything up, and you don't have to deploy malware in your own system. It's a win-win for everybody. There's a list of jobs here as well. What jobs can you get? Well, malware analyst is kind of obvious reverse engineer, security researcher, all the way into actually doing adversary emulation and red team. So this does apply to both the blue, the red, and even a little bit of purple in between. So if you're interested in malware at all and reversing malware, this is a great test of your skill set from what you learn in the training. So let's talk about the exam format. What do you expect in this exam? Well, in total, there are 1250 points. And this kind of breaks down what the scoring requirements look like. You can see we have exam pack samples. So you get 900 points there. And this is the main part of your exam, the meaty part of your exam. You get nine samples in total that you need to dissect. You don't have to dissect all of them. We'll talk about this here in a second. But they are worth a total of 900 points. On top of that, you have to do a debrief. Regardless, you have to do a debrief. Now, if you fail the exam or you fail the exam sample packs, you won't have to do your debrief. It's only for when you're passing or have a passing score. Lastly, there are Yara rules that you can write for the samples. And this is for the detection side of things. This ties into more of the blue team side of things. And they are not required, but they are worth another 175 points. So in order to pass the exam, you need to score a 76%, which is 950 points out of 1,250. So what does that mean in reality? Well, you have nine sample packs that you're given. These sample packs range from easy to medium to hard in difficulty. The easy ones are only worth 75 points. The hard ones are worth 100 and or 150, I should say. The medium ones are worth 100. So you can get a combination of points and still pass the exam. Here's one example that I can give you. What if you get 600 points in the sample pack? So you get 600 out of 900 total points from your samples. And then you submit a Yara rule set with those and you also do your debrief. Well, that's another 350 points. You add that all up, you get 950 points total and you still pass your exam. There are two hard samples on the PJMR exam. Those are worth 150 points each. So that in theory right there means that you can do the easy and medium samples, do the Yara rules, and do the debrief and still pass your exam without having solved the hard questions. And that's okay. That's what we are expecting from you as a junior. You can also get all nine samples correct and not submit any Yara rules and then just do the debrief. 
So we add the R rules in for a little bit of padding in case you need that padding or you don't have to do them at all if you're very confident and comfortable with your malware analysis skills. If we jump on the certification website really quick, I'll cover the pricing and some of the other items with you. Standard pricing, just like the PMPT, the voucher is $299 standalone. That means without training, you do get one attempt and one free retake with this, as well as a lifetime voucher. If you wanted to do the training, it is $329. That is the price of the training course. If you already own the training, then you do not need to purchase this package. You can just do the exam voucher only. Now, the training does come with nine hours of training. We'll talk about what that training looks like here in just a second. I'm going to scroll down to the FAQ just because there are a lot of questions that we get asked for this certification specifically. So you do not need to set up a lab. We already covered that. Anybody could take the PJMR. And we talked about the job roles that are required for this or you could get out of this. Now, the certification at this time does not expire. The exam voucher will never expire. Your training will never expire. Everything is for life. So if you purchase the exam today and you wanted to take it a year from now, you could. If you purchase the exam with training and you wanted to take the training a year from now, you could do that as well. So we've covered all that. We've covered the how long the exam is. The exam is of intermediate difficulty and we do provide training. Now, a lot of you have asked about the training and the training that we provide is enough to pass the exam. There are no outside resources needed. Everything is provided to you and we'll talk about the training in one second here. We also offer discounts as always, same with all of our other certifications. If you are current or former military, if you are a first responder, meaning you're police, a nurse, an EMT, doctor, et cetera, or if you're a student slash teacher, you can send in proof to support at tcm-sec.com and we will give you a 20% off code for a certification voucher. Real, real simple process. So, and this doesn't matter what country you're from, we accept everybody from every country. Okay, lastly, it's important to talk about the training. So we have in here what the training is and what the requirements are. So we have the basic IT knowledge as a requirement, general knowledge of malware. It's not a lot here and it says, hey, it's not even required. Being able to understand Linux and Windows is useful and having a home lab with at least six gigabytes of RAM it's not a lot of resources that are needed for this course. There's even an AWS setup with this course, just in case you wanted to do that and you didn't have enough resources for your computer. So this is the course topic. So these are the course topics. I'm going to scroll down and just kind of show you the course topics instead in the curriculum. So you'll have a lab build that you go through, depending if you want to do it locally or in the cloud. And then on top of that, you learn static analysis, you learn dynamic analysis, you come in here and you have challenges along the way where you're dissecting malware and just getting a little bit more comfortable as you go. And then it starts to get a little bit advanced in the static and dynamic analysis. You start going through some of the more special items and some really cool shellcode analysis. It's actually a fantastic, fantastic course. It's one of the best sellers at TCM Security and it's one of the highest rated courses we have just because the author does a fantastic job in setting everything up. You even get into mobile malware analysis. It's really cool. At the end of it, you dissect WannaCry, which is a very, very famous known malware. And you even learn the ways of rule writing and report writing. So we go into Yara rules, we go into report writing. You're given a guide throughout the whole step-by-step -step process. So it tells you, even when you take the exam, it says, hey, here are sample reports. Here's what you need to submit with your report. And here's what a Yara rule looks like. We give this all to you in order to prepare you for this exam. So there are no surprises. There are no gotchas in all of this. So hopefully that was informative for you. This exam is, again, meant to be intermediate in difficulty for juniors interested in malware analysis. And the closest thing to it is a $10,000 exam from SAN. So we are really trying to stick with our motto of providing affordable education, practical exams, and something that doesn't break the bank if you want to go out there and try to learn something new. Malware analysis is a really cool field. It's really complex, but Matt Keeley does a great job of making it seem simple and preparing you for a certification exam like this. So that's it for this video. As always, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I thank you for joining me. Peace out.